Yeah. Welcome back, Haunt Nation. You. I am your host, Ant. T. That's your other host. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a movie review for you. Hell right? yeah. What was, it, what was it called? Once Upon a Once Upon a Time in Mexico? Yeah, something like Once Upon a Green No, no, Dream. no. Once Upon a Time in Mexico is a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once Upon a Time at, at Christmas, Christmas, right? Yeah. 2017 horror film, about an hour and 40 minutes. Too long. long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, we're, you know, that one actually looked like it had real production value. Potential. It looked like it had potential. It was fucking made by Lionsgate. There you go. Well, not necessarily made by, uh, released put out by, by released by. So, yeah, it did look like it had potential. So we were like, well, you know, we're kind of past the Halloween, but we want to kind of stick with the horror theme. And we kind of figured, since we did Santa Slay at Brighton last night, why not? Stick with the evil Christmas. Right. right. So Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are going around killing people. Right. For Christmas. Right. And basically, you got, you know, you, you got a, a fucked up Santa and a wannabe Harley Quinn. Absolutely. 100% right. wannabe, wannabe Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. They should have just went with, like, fucking Joker Santa at, the, yeah. at that point. Because right. Because... Because really, like, Cause gonna, you, 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 want, you want to keep the Batman references because they were robbing. <laughs> yeah, they were robbing <laughs> anybody who paid for that fucking movie. That's who they were robbing. So the the woman that played Mrs. Claus, okay. Mrs. Quinn Claus, yeah, Mrs. Qu Harley, Harley Claus, Harley Claus, <laughs> was, she was tall, man. She was man. fucking huge. She yeah. was tall. And she kind of looked like Kevin Smith's wife. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't watch the credit to see the credits to see if it was her, but right, it, it kind of looked like Kevin Smith's wife. And they were they were really like it was a cross between they were telling her to act like Harley Quinn, or the quintessential um, Rob Zombie's wife character. Yeah, yeah. Right? Rob Zombie sees her; she's getting hired for the next fucking Rob Zombie murder fest. Yeah, but I think she's gonna get killed off quick because she just wasn't that great of actress. So, uh, speaking of acting, how how did you enjoy the acting in this film? <laughs> I had higher hopes. So did I. I had higher hopes. So did I. Um. So, uh, first of all, this is in general for all movies across the board, right? For suspension of disbelief. If you are in Canada and all you motherfuckers are Canadian with Canadian accents, yes. How about you just make the movie? In Right, so the movie's supposed to be set in upstate New York, um, near Ellenville area, if any of you are familiar with upstate New York, which right. is not too far away from the Hudson River. It's a little west of the Hudson. Right. Uh, definitely not near the border of Canada, where anybody no, would be saying the boot. No, be boot and boot. Yeah. Boot and, and it's very obvious at some points that yeah. every actor in this film was... Was Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. We're not saying ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying that why not just say it was... In Ontario, right. if you can't, if, if, was, you, if you, know, you can't manage to get rid of your reboot, yeah, make it a Canadian film, right? Because um, we were we were laughing <laughs> consistently throughout whenever you go, what's the boot? Yeah, because <laughs> uh, I was just out there. I was just out there. Yeah, out there. <laughs> very very obvious. Yeah. Um, so the basic, 100, one hundred one. Oh, okay. Basic premise is that a couple dressed like Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Are going through spree. a sleepy, sleepy upstate town uh, on a killing spree, like right. a quiet little town, and nobody can figure out why. Well, I will tell you that it took them over an hour into the movie to start putting the pieces together, and I'd already started putting the pieces together by the third murder. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "Oh, this is a right, you know, this is a twelve days of Christmas." Yeah, thing. Right. Going I was, was going to say paint by numbers, but uh, there's a close, there's close a enough. Twelve days of Christmas thing that's going on here. Right. Now we're not going to give you the complete why or. The ruin the dare I call it the plot. ruin yeah <laughs> dare I call it a plot of the film right um, as to why this is going on and all this but it, it did start out for as as strained as the acting is we don't expect and and I would call the acting strained yes yeah. it was very strained yeah it, it wasn't natural it right. was forced and strained there were things that were said like the writing was all over the place things that were said were. Like, didn't of, make out sense. Of, like, out of sync. Like, out of sequence. Yeah, and, and yeah. it just didn't make sense. Like, it, someone would say something, and the answer to it would be like, who the fuck would say that? Like, it, it just really didn't make sense. And, yeah, there was one particular part of the film that whoever was editing it should be slapped because something happened, and then the scene directly after that, 
they referenced why what would just I do happened that? Yeah. as if it never happened. Yeah, why would I do something like that? Yeah. And then the scene after that, uh, it was just somebody, somebody put a scene. Up. Yeah, somebody just, you know, put a scene in the wrong spot. Right. And that would be the editor. Right. So uh, it started out with a bang. There was uh, some some decent some decent kills, some decent killings. Uh, but a lot of digital, digital effects and digital, digital blood. Digital blood is just so fucking obvious, bro. Yeah, unless you're doing, unless you're going with ILM or. Uh, Whatever that studio, the Wingnut Studio, mm. whatever, whatever his studio is, just stop it because it really looks bad. It's obvious. Yeah, you know, stick with practical effects where you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can't imagine that it would be cheaper than to try to give somebody who's a special effects artist a shot. Right. To right. to be cheaper to do those digital effects, but what do I know? I, I'm not in the movie business. No. So well, thank God you're not in that movie. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, it, it started out well. It started out with a bang. There was a lot of action going on. And then somewhere around that hour mark, somewhere around the midpoint of the movie, it just came to like a screeching halt. Yeah. You know, a and lot I, of that. I was knocking the fuck out. We had to, we had to do this in two parts. Which is I was knocking the fuck out. Not completely unusual. <laughs> no, yeah. But, yeah, it, it came it to a started, screeching yeah. halt. A lot, of the, a lot of the murders were happening off, off screen. And right, right, right off time you know and the, I know the song motherfucker I don't need to hear about it I want to see it right. you know <laughs> so yeah by by the the end was also confused yeah like the the whole the whole reasoning for the end of the movie and everything that was going on there was a little a little weird and a little confused and like most films nowadays they left it open for a sequel Oh, Very oh, wide, oh wide boy. open. Oh wide, boy, wide, wide I can't open. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time at Christmas again. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they left it completely wide open for a sequel. So without ruining too much of the film, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So on a separate note, I'd like to give a giant fuck you to um, Netflix. Because Netflix decided that I wasn't paying enough money for Netflix. Yeah. And they decided they were going to raise their already high cost mm -hmm. two dollars higher and i have bounced from netflix yeah you know i chose their highest level plan uh which was four screens in 4k mm -hmm. because i wanted to be able to watch things in 4k where mm -hmm. available right i don't really need four screens it was nice to be able to have four screens so that multiple people could be watching multiple things at once but their top line is 4k four screens their midway point is 1080p and two screens, and their low level is standard definition. standard definition, which I believe they consider 720p, mm -hmm. and one screen at a time. Right now, there is nothing stopping them. Well, what's what? What does it cost them to show me something in 4K, not as a, opposed to 720 thing. or 1080? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. If anything, it's costing me money to stream it, right? Because right. I'm streaming, and, right? Yeah. I'm streaming, you know, a, a bigger file. So, fuck you for that. Uh, 720p, honestly, you know. To me, that's not even the, the standard nowadays. Should be 1080p. 1080p. Yeah. You know, I know cable doesn't really provide 1080p. I think they only do 1080i. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the standard should be 1080p. Right. It shouldn't even be a 720 option. Right. And I'll be damned if yes. I'm going to spend all that money for for nothing. Just, considering their programming is gone. You just pulled a Christopher Walken and uh, Pulp Fiction. Right. Right. He'd be damned. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. And I better he, stop or I'm going to get every China so man on the planet again. So he put it where there was no one to look in his ass. Okay. <laughs> we them, according to your father, this watch was your birthright. He'd be damned if he let a slow man. That would oh. be nice. I'm quoting. I, I know you're quoting. I'm quoting. I Go watch Pulp quoting. Fiction. It is a much better movie than any of this horse shit that we had to subject ourselves to. should have gotten movie of the year if yeah. I got beaten up by a more family-friendly film for us, Gump. For pretty much yeah, everything. and look what happened to him. Anyway, we won't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> no, we don't. That's that's conspiracy theory. No, stop conspiracy it. Stop theory. It. Can you say that in Greek? <laughs> I can't. And I can't. Actually, trust somebody can. Do <laughs> <laughs> call George. <laughs> but anyway, um, the the other high note is that we I found this movie on Hulu, Hulu. Yep. and also saw a Halloweeny type film next to it called Carved, 
which was, you know, people go and pick jack-o'-lanterns and, you know... Now, the beauty of this... Monsters and was carving it, and suits. The beauty of it was... Five fucking minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Had no idea. It was part of their Huluween film shorts. Yep. And and I must say... A few of them were damn good. Yeah, very... <laughs> like damn good. As opposed to this hour and 47 Lionsgate-produced film. Yeah. Uh, that one carved. There was uh, one with, like, the Chuck E. Cheese one. The Hug. The Hug. The Hug. With creepy-looking Chuck E. Cheese Friggin character. Awesome. Uh, the, what and, was the... and any a, anytime you get pissed off at little snot nosed kid acting like a little punk, right? You gotta watch this. One. Yep, it make you feel great. <laughs> make you feel good. Yep, you know? redemption. And uh, the what was the other one with the with the the, the Girl Scout troop? What was that one called? Oh, with with, with the with the. With the, the evil Furby, the Baba Ganoush or something. Yeah, that's the, the evil Furby. So <laughs> there, there were there were quite a few of them. They're all anywhere from four to seven minutes. There was one with the little the box. That was another good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the 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 ride that was terrible. That was fucking horrible. That was fucking terrible. Somebody want want to be pink. They, they, they could. They wanted a higher pink, but couldn't afford it. Spin class one. Yeah. That was terrible. Um, seven minutes. So yeah. I guess the longer we get, the fucking worse the fucking they worse get. They get. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the What was the other one that was pretty bad? That made no fucking sense. Oh, the lipstick one. I, uh, no, that that one I actually liked. That one okay. I uh, that was called lips, I think, or something like that. Some something. shit like that. Yeah. That one actually started out kind of dopey and got and the got, end was interesting. Yeah. Um, but well, again, what's the one about the, the four or five the, minutes? The the, the the dancing vaudeville guy. That was that was yeah that was okay. I it was called it the something. Yeah. You know, not they didn't even name it something like a dance like the Charleston. They named it yeah, something yeah, yeah. else. Uh, the Ripper oh, was terrible. Oh, like faux shizzle because we thought that's right. right. That's right. That's right. Because we thought Snoop wrote it. Right. The the sizzle. The sizzle. Hey, the sizzle. no. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> faux shizzle. Faux shizzle. It would have been better if Snoop was in it. Yeah. That that one was okay though. Um, the other one though, that one was fucking terrible. The Ripper. Mm. Which was a, a band one that was pretty pretty bad. Pretty but, bad. But anyway, it's yeah, it's a four minute. The investment premise of, was worse than their musicians. Right. The, it was a four minute. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> Poor guys. I'm sure they're excellent players. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the. You know, for for four or five minute shorts. Yeah. Uh, the amusing you know, as hell. Yeah, and you really even if it's a bad one, you lost four minutes. Yeah. Five minutes, seven yeah. minutes. It's really not not a thing. So yeah, I would definitely not recommend. The uh, once upon a time, once upon a midnight dreary, as yeah, I yeah. pondered, weak and weary, over many a uh, over many volume of forgotten more, right? Yep. All at once there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping. But now let yeah. me stop because we don't have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> I I will not watch this movie no more. <laughs> How about we like that? <laughs> Never more. Never more. <laughs> Once was enough. Yep. Yeah, so uh, we do our movie scores out of five. We do our haunt scores out of ten. Movie score for this I'm film. I'm struggling to give this motherfucker a two. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Uh, I'm thinking yeah. I'm thinking they were heading towards a two and a half in the beginning. Yeah. And then, and they, then kinda, they just went downhill. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go with a two as well. Yeah. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It was definitely better than some of the other films. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, yeah, this is definitely. Like this what You know what this is? This was like a Clowntergeist. Yeah. Right? That, that, it's like on board with Clowntergeist. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Yeah. So, yeah, this is... Well, no, but to, to be fair to this one, Clowntergeist had an awesome movie poster, and their their antagonist did not live up anywhere, near, anywhere but, near the movie but poster. But this yeah. movie poster, the Santa represented in the poster, actually looked like the Santa in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'll give them that. They did, it wasn't overdone, and, and it wasn't. It, yeah, it wasn't like a bait and switch, right? You right, know, right, there right. was nothing false about it. So, if you really want, you need so you need to hit that B movie horror film fix for Halloween and Christmas. Yeah. Or Christmas, yeah. yeah. I said Halloween, Jesus. Yeah, yeah Christmas. And if you want to give it a whirl, give it a whirl. Yeah. Firm two for me. Yep. Struggling two for me. Yeah. <laughs> A two that can't swim in the deep end of the pool <laughs> for tea. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for that. Not, yeah? not even with floaties. Not even with floaties. No fucking noodle. <laughs> it's a 300-pound guy trying to support himself with a with fucking a noodle. noodle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, though? He might not be able to support himself on that noodle, but I can support him on my program. This is true. Let's let's give you a shout-out on your your site. What is your site? 
my friend. You go right to me, brother. I, uh, I have many different websites, but I like people going right to me, just going right to my Facebook page. And uh, all joking aside, um, that's what I specialize in. Um, you know, insane weight loss safely, sustainably, um, in a record amount of time and without all of these fucking restrictions that people put on you. I, I would never have any of my clients go keto. I would never have my clients give up foods that they love because it really is, is you know, horse shit. This is, you know, you, you really can safely and sustainably take control of your health and fitness while still enjoying life. Uh, and that's what, that's what I specialize in. Truth be told, I sat at this motherfucker last night and we crushed two pizzas. Yeah. After having sushi for dinner. So, yeah. he's not yeah. bullshitting Not bullshitting you. And, uh, I, would, you know, I would tell you, I'd be like, I'm going to call you the fuck out. But yeah. <laughs> that's why, that's why I brought it up. You're living it. Yeah. But, uh, and I'm also doing something for Christmas. Uh, my program is usually three months long. Um, for Christmas, I know that especially with all these lockdowns happening, and I know a lot of gyms might be closing down again. Um, oh, they I, will be. New York already said they will be. Yeah. And uh, so whoever works with me, I'm giving them month number four. Wow. For free? On me. Not, nice. not raising the price, not nothing. Everybody's getting that extra month uh, because, let's just face it, Christmas isn't going to be this year what it usually is for so many people. And, uh, yeah, you know, at least yeah, I, no, I could do is... is do my part helping people the way I, I do so all right. anyhow you see me on haunt nation and uh by all means send me a personal friend request love to chat with you and uh you know even if you're not yeah if you're gonna you but know. but honestly please please for the love of god if you're gonna send a personal request to either one of us on instagram facebook what have you um just put in you know put a message, put a, put a message, a message there yeah. so that we have an idea hey you know saw you on haunt nation you know whatever so we know you're not bots or people trying to sell us shit or scam us or uh, yeah. send us to your porn page. Yeah. You know, yeah. what have you. I, I, don't, I, I really don't need to sign up for anybody's OnlyFans. Right. Nope. Yeah. No, no, I'm my own OnlyFans. Uh, yep. I can handle my own business. Yeah. I, need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I got my two fans. Yep. Yep. You got, the, you got the wife and mistress. That's right. You all good. So anyway. On that note. <laughs> before we go down another Another rabbit around. hole. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah. And, and if we don't, if we don't see you or do a review before Christmas or New Year's, have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, as happy best, Hanukkah, as Kwanzaa, best Festivus, whatever. Right, as best you can this year, yeah. and uh, and a Happy New Year. Yep. All right, see you. <laughs>